thanks for tuning in to this presentation of The Path Forward. This is Daniel Workman. I am joined by Chris Kessel of West Virginia Soccer Association. Chris, how are you doing? I'm doing great this evening. Thanks for having me. So we are going to talk through and look at the path forward for U.S. soccer. It also begins to provide meaning for so many clubs and and players, um, and as well as state associations. You know, why do we exist? And and, and rather than thinking of it as just existing to for for social reasons and just you know having you know, good relationships and, and friendships in the game, it becomes a, a, a higher level or a deeper meaning, a deeper level of, of purpose and that you are facilitating the game in America. Every state association, state association becomes a facilitator of American soccer for your state, regardless of what level your clubs are at. You are, you are connected. You have a vested interest. You are um, invested emotionally in, 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 in time and energy and resources into seeing your clubs reach for the stars and, and work even harder to try to get there. So, you know, I, as I look at, at American soccer and all of these leagues and clubs and announcements about, you know, Major League Soccer versus – the NPSL Founders Cup and NISA versus USL, et cetera, so on and so forth. The thing that, that I look at is that until someone or some collection of clubs and leagues come together and say, here is our shared values, here are our shared principles, we are going to connect with anyone who shares these values and principles, we're open for business, let's get it done. Until we get there, I just don't see much chance for progress, for growth, for capitalization, um, or increased you know, commercial revenues, or community engagement until we get to that place where Leagues and clubs start to network together, come together under, you know, one banner to, to kind of use that idea of these shared values and shared principles. So, Chris, I'm going to I'm going to leave it with you uh, with your, your final thoughts as we kind of wrap this thing up. I, we me and you have talked about this multiple times. I've written about it. I've uh, social media tweeted about it talk to people face to face soccer in this United States has a lack of leadership. We don't have a strategic plan or vision. The creation of a national pyramid system and a restructuring of how youth competition works is a strategic plan for all of us to use to go forward and totally, totally as participants in whatever level and way and shape and form that we participate me as a member of a state association you know it gives us the needed guidance and direction to be great at what we do it will give clubs guidance and direction to be great at what they want to be great at. And this, this is how we're going to get there. A strategic plan for everybody to, to be a guiding principle for every club and every association and every league and every, every, everything involved in soccer in this country. And this is what we need. If we ever hope to be, the greatest soccer nation in the world. This is what we need. I I absolutely agree. And, you know, I, I, my hope is that um, clubs and leagues will start to realize that to fix American soccer is to go beyond 
the the the, the personal um, picture and and look at the entire country as one project rather than one league or one club we we need to start thinking of this as one country one national system of connected leagues and when we do that if that becomes our mission whether we are the NPSL classic and we're trying to figure out what does life look like for us going forward if you want to be a part of that system, then you're making decisions based upon participating and getting into alignment into that system. If you are a club in the GCPL, same thing. You're, you're working on what you're doing right now, but you're also working with your collection of clubs to go, how do we collectively prepare our clubs and our league to participate in this system? Because this is where we got, where we have to go. This is what we need. If we want to engage, if we want passion, if we want opportunity, if, if we are truly as U S soccer claims that its vision and mission is to be to make soccer, the preeminent sport in America, this is the path forward to get there. So thanks for joining us on this special presentation of the path forward. I'd like to thank Chris Kessel for joining me during this presentation and for all of his thoughts. Um, he, along with some others, have been critical and, and so important in working through these ideas for the last several years in trying to figure out how do we get from where we are to where we need to go. So thanks for joining us. Until next time. <laughs>